Hello, good day everyone, especially to grade 12 ICT computer system servicing students of Davao de Oro. I am Sir Rex Yepe Saraos of Mungkayo National High School, Senior High School, Mungkayo West District, your teacher for this week's topic. Today, we will be learning new lesson and this is of course with a connection of your last week topics but before starting to our discussion make sure that you are always observing health protocols social distancing and wearing of your mask when you are in the group and of course your body mind and heart are ready for our lesson are you ready students very good i think everything is ready so here we go in your first quarter discussion you learned about different types of software the system software and application software and on second quarter, you learned about installing operating system and drivers for peripherals devices. During this time, you learned how the operating system and device drivers work together in your computer. Class. I need to refresh all these things because our topic for this day is somewhat connected to the two previous topics. Because our topic for this day is install application software. And our objective for this lesson are the following. First, familiarize the concept of installing application software. Second, use application software that is compatible to the operating system. Third, installing application software based on the manufacturer's standard. So remember all these things, sit back and pay attention to our discussion. Now, what is an application software? It is a type of computer program that performs a specific personal, educational, and a business function. Its program is designed to assist the user with particular process which may be related to productivity, creativity, and or communication. The application software list includes word processor, graphics software, database software, spreadsheet software, presentation software, web browsers, enterprise software, information worker software, multimedia software, education and reference software, and content access software. Those are the examples of application software. I think the very common application software are the word processor software, the spreadsheet software, and the presentation software. Now, how to install application software? Your computer allows you to do some really amazing things. Digital photo editing, sophisticated computer gaming, and video streaming. All of these things are possible 
because of different types of software. Developers are always creating new software applications which allow you to do even more with your computer. Installing from CD-ROM From the mid-1990s through the late 2000s, the most common way to get the new software was to purchase a CD-ROM. You could then insert the disk and the computer would walk you through the installation. Now, almost all software has moved away from this model. Many new computers no longer include CD-ROM for this reason. However, if you do need to install software from a CD-ROM, simply insert the disk into your computer, then follow the instructions. Next, installing software from the web. Today, the most common way to get new software is to download it from the internet. Applications like Microsoft Office and Adobe Photoshop can now be purchased and downloaded right to your computer. You can also install free software this way. First, download the file. The installation file will be saved to your computer in .exe format, pronounced .exe. This is a standard extension for the installation files on Windows computers. Second, Locate and download an .exe file. Third, locate and double-click the .exe file. It will usually be your downloads folder. Fourth, a dialog box will appear. Follow the instructions to install the software. And fifth, the software will be installed. You can now open the application from the start menu of Windows 7 or the start screen window of Windows 8 and 10. Example, installing Google Chrome from the web. First, we have to go to www.google.com then press enter second on the search bar type google chrome download then press enter key as shown in this illustration third select the most appropriate link of the google chrome Locate and download .exe file. Fourth, locate and double-click the .exe file. It will usually be in your downloads folder. Fifth, a dialog box will appear. Follow the instructions to install the software. And the last one, the Google Chrome will be installed. You can now open the application from the start menu of Windows 7 or the start screen window of Windows 8 and Windows 10. Almost the same process with other application softwares. What is important is you will consider the operating system you have in your computer and the capacity of the hardware for installing the application software because most of the application software may have a requirements 
before it can be installed. As an example, you cannot install Office 2016 and above to Windows 7 operating system. Same that you cannot install Photoshop CS6 in just 1 GB of RAM. Always remember that application software is a type of computer program that performs a specific personal, educational, and business function. Though application software are just an add-on program, but it makes your computer a general-purpose computer when you have it. It can easily be downloaded from the web, but before the installation, consider the type of operating system and the capacity of your computer. That's it. Any question? None? Very good. It means that you understand our discussion. Since you are equipped with this knowledge, this will be your task for this week. Install any application software to the computer. It's up to you to use the CD or download it from the web. Take a picture while performing the task as a proof that you are really doing it. Print the picture and submit it to your CSS teacher or send it through Messenger. Any question regarding our task? None? Very good. That's all for this day. I hope that you learned something important and keep using and practicing what you have learned today. And share it to everyone in it. Like what Anna Munar said, sharing will enrich everyone's knowledge. Once again, this is Sir Rex Yepes Saraos of Mungkayu National High School, Senior High School, saying goodbye and see you again next time. Keep safe everyone. Always remember, dito sa TV Eskwila, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!